know, humans, or mutants, or whatever. Welcome to Cracker, Season 3, Episode 26. Um, a few things to talk about. Got a very small shipment in today. I'll show you some stuff. I got a... Of course, I had to get this. I was going to get it on Wednesday. Uh, when did I go to the comic store? Thursday, Friday, whatever. One of those days. Um, but I knew I already ordered it, so... I didn't pick it up, but it's Batman Zero Year and I'm 21. Damn right, I'm going to get that. Um, basically, it's like reading Batman Begins. Uh, it wasn't bad. It was it was pretty cool. We just uh, want to see where that's going. And um, I got to say one thing about this and I'm, Superman Unchained is that I like the way DC is doing their covers. Like Not the art, but like the actual the paper. It's, uh, it's more solid and... Uh, less chance of uh, getting fingerprints on there because uh, I know Marvel and DC you know a couple months ago or Marvel still but DC a couple months ago before they start doing this stuff um, no matter how careful you were 90% of the time you got your fingerprints on the cover and the pages would stick to it you know they always say like you wash your hands before you read a comic which is totally true um, or try to cup it in your palm so your fingerprints don't you know touch the actual stuff but literally, like, every, almost every time, every comic I have, it's just like, fingerprint, fingerprint, fingerprint. I'm like, oh, God. Drive me nuts. Because uh, I don't have a spot where I can lay it down and just kind of, you know, read. There's just nowhere to put it. So I'm stuck with, you know. But my idea that seems to be working from time to time is I'll take the book out and uh, actually show you. I've got the bag in the thing, you know. Take the board out. Make sure the tape is down so it's... There we go. Okay take the book out, you put it on top of the thing like that, but like I said, make sure the tape is down or off, flip it over, you open up whatever pages you want, you know, I'm not going to be picky here, you open up and you keep the book on the actual thing, and you keep your hand under the board, and then rest it, you know, on your arm or whatever it is, and just kind of, you know, flip through the pages, and you don't get any fingerprints on it. For that uh, on the go kind of thing, <laughs> or whatever. So there's that. Um, wasn't too bad. Like I said, I liked it. it was a pretty good story. Like I said, it's like basically reading Batman Begins. And I also got uh, a back issue, Amazing Spider-Man number six ten. Not bad for it was like a buck fifty, and then they I got a code word thing. It was like a dollar, so pretty cool. I thought that was Sabretooth actually. He was fighting. He's actually Kane, and. Um, good price but a really crappy book uh, the story basically really sucked and I was just kind of like wow it's it's one of those stories that it sucks but you have to have it to set up something else obviously a filler story because uh, this basically sets up Scarlet Spider like it just kind of goes into the whole thing but it just sucked but anyway still back issue that I needed can't win them all and I also got from Midtown Superman Man of Steel super spectacular from Mad basically collects everything all their super you know it's kind of interesting little back over there uh basically collects like everything that has to do with superman that they parried parodied you know you get the idea so that was it that was my haul um quick thing superman unchained i didn't like it i didn't like it uh, my friend was like how do you not like that you know it's jim lee the art was kind of Eh, it wasn't like really Jim Lee standard. Like I was kind of looking at him like, okay, when's this gonna be Jim Lee? Um, I don't know. It was just kind of mediocre. The art. I was like, eh. and the story was kind of. I don't know. I guess I gotta see how the second one goes because there is a new character they introduced who looked kind of cool, but um, other than that, I thought it sucked. Just like ah, eh. because I mean, you look at Jim Lee's art. Like here's an example. Here's Hush, right? Most of the time, like, he's got, uh, where is it, like, a lot of hidden crap in there. Like, I didn't even notice it until, like, a week ago. Yeah, I can actually see Catwoman in the background stealing shit, which I didn't know. And then, if, like I said, you look at the artwork, it's, um, you know, it's impressive. But it's also, like, I would say, like, he's getting close to George Perez with, uh, yeah, like, look at that. Like, detail-wise, you know, if you look at the one thing where he's got the, uh... Bear with me. <laughs> yeah, see, look at that. That's, that's Jim Lee. But there's one part in this book... Uh, 
which I've read, you know, dozens of times. But there we go, like all the Batmobiles. It's like, let's take the car. It's got them all in there. Animated series. All the ones in the movies. That's the Jim Lee I, I like there. But the Unchained was kind of just, meh. Anyway, um, a couple things to talk about. A couple other people I want to thank. Uh, Red Vitamin Blue. Thanks for the support. Check out his channel. Comic Guy Rules. Thanks for the support. And Thomas Parks. Thanks for the support. Check out the channel. Their channels. Um, <laughs> what else was there? Yeah, I saw some, some movies recently. I actually went a little crazy. And I went to go see a lot of movies I've missed. Um, like I said, when I've been so busy with so much other stuff, I haven't had a chance. Um, my fiance and I went to go see Hangover 3. All in one day. Hangover 3, uh, The Internship, and This is the End. We made it a triple header. Uh, Hangover 3 was kind of eh. I still think the first one's the best. The second one wasn't bad, but the third one was kind of eh. Um, the internship was pretty funny, but it wasn't like, you know, hysterically funny where you're like, ah, that's awesome. Uh, but it wasn't bad. And this is the end, which is a messed up movie. That was uh, interesting, I guess. I mean, it, <laughs> it was funny, but it wasn't like, you know, again, it wasn't one of those like, extremely funny kind of things. I think the only person I've ever laughed hysterically at was when, uh, back in the day, with Jim Carrey with, like, a Dumb and Dumber and, uh, Ace Ventura. I found that crap extremely funny. But, um, moving on, moving on. So, a couple movies there. Interesting story that happened, uh, which we're going to get into because it kind of makes a lot of sense to certain things. kind of gives people, might give you a little bit of a lesson, I guess. Um, I was playing Injustice shock and um my friend and i were in a king of the hill thing and uh if you played in just you know how the king of the hill goes you know you, you go into a lobby and someone's the king and you got to beat the king and stay the king whatever it is you want to do so i'm in there my friend and i we made our own lobby thing inside a lobby so it was like you know i just you know that's my friend and i play it uh all of a sudden this jackass comes in to the thing, you know, it was open to, you know, whoever, because we don't want to, we don't mind playing against each other, but sometimes, you know, you want to get a variety going, because it's kind of annoying, the same person over and over again, but, um, so Jackass comes in, and, uh, I was the king, uh, my friend and I were pretty evenly matched, uh, it's funny, because it'll be either I'll destroy him, or he'll destroy me, or it'll be really, really close, depending, um, this guy comes in, and, and, like I've said billions of times, I've said it on here, and my friend knows, like, I don't play cheaply unless you do it first if you start it then you better be able to finish it because i'm gonna bring it and uh whenever i fight anybody new i usually pick nightwing just to see how they do and uh <laughs> this guy um what the hell was it killer frost he selected and uh i didn't know killer frost could be as cheap as she is so i said it was just you know i'm playing the game i'm not doing anything cheap you know a couple moves here and there a couple little taps you know just to kind of nudge him, see what he was going to do. Then all of a sudden, he gets me in this friggin' ice thing, like, you know, the thing comes underneath the ground, like they call it the ice tower or whatever it is, and he was able to spam the hell out of that, where it was just constantly hitting me over and over again. I'm like, here we go. Right. Now, for people who don't know, which uh, I've never, this year was actually, well, actually, when Mortal Kombat 9 came out, that's when I truly learned what spam was. Spam is basically... I'm going to give you a little definition here. Meat in a can. No, but um, in the video game world, uh, it's basically if you spam a move over and over again, that's what it means. Like you're constantly doing the same move over and over again. Which it's funny because a lot of people will call you spammers and they really don't have a freaking clue what spam spamming actually is. They just, oh, you're a spammer. Huh? I'll get into that later. So this guy, so you know, is spamming the hell out of this ice the thing constantly and he took away my entire health bar. Give him credit. I'm like, hey, you know, that's a pretty interesting spam move. So what do I do? I turn around. I said, you know what? You're going to be cheap. I'm talking to my friend on the uh, the Xbox uh, chat thing with just him and I. You know, we're in our own private party. So I said, you know what? I told him. I was like, that's it. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to cheap this guy out because he wants to play cheap. I'll, I'll show him how to play cheap. And I spam the hell out of him. You know, air, wing dings, you know, ground thing, you know, the stick. I'm really, really good with his staff. Like, if I flick to the staff, it's on. Because I will destroy people with that staff. And just wrecked this kid. Wrecked him. Uh, he flips out, right? He, you know, he loses. He goes into the thing. Sends me a message. You're a scumbag. You're, you know, oh, is that how you how you like to play? You know, the same move over and over again. Now, the funny thing is, 
he did it first. Like, he spammed his move, so I went ahead and went after him. So now I'm the spammer because I nailed him with stuff that he was doing to me. That's what I also find funny. Uh, so I was like, yeah, I was like, glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, so that pisses people off more when you're more of like a, you know, kill them with kindness kind of thing. Like, yeah, whatever, you know, you don't ignore them. Sends me another message. Because uh, now my, he's, what was it? I was fighting my friend and my friend beat me. So now my friend is the king. He fights my friend. Now he doesn't know that we're friends, you know. So he fights my friend and my friend whips his ass. Whips his ass. Um, he doesn't send anything to my friend. Doesn't send anything because, you know, it wasn't, he didn't really spam anything, you know. He kind of just barely won, and, uh, so then, um, I fight my friend, and I beat my friend to become the king of the hill. Like I said, this might be a long story. You might, might enjoy it, though, because it's, it's got a point. Uh, so I'm the king of the hill, so this jackass is back. So he sends me messages, like, yeah, he goes, now it's on. He's like, I'm going to show you, uh, how to spam. So he picks Deathstroke. Deathstroke is the king of spamming, but if you know how to get around him, you can really do damage to these people, because that's all they got, is that, you know, they spam the machine gun or the, the thing. One way to totally destroy Deathstroke spammers is to pick Doomsday. Um, basically, the first thing you want to do is armor up, because the gun... You can do two things. You can armor up, because the gun won't really do a lot, and you can kind of, you know, dash in and take care of them. But the best way to do is take a couple hits with the gun, because then you know what, how they're gonna, their pattern's going to be. Because most Deathstroke spammers, they spam the machine gun, then they do the air, you know, gun, then they do the regular gun to keep you off balance, and then when they get their meter up, they shoot the grenade, and then if you get close, they spin... The same thing. So you do the same thing with Doomsday. What you do is take a couple hits to get your meter up. Then do his, uh, what is it, Nova thing or whatever it is where he flies in the air. Do that, but meter burn it so you actually, it homes in on the character and it lands on him. The second you land on Doomsday, I mean on Deathstroke, do one of two things. You can duck because he's going to try to do the sword. Or jump and hit down and for Xbox hit A and it's an overhead attack. And then the second you hit him, you hit a low A. And just keep doing the overhead, the low, the overhead, and they can't get up. They can't move, and it pisses them off. So I did that to this guy. This guy flipped out again. You're a friggin' spammer. Yet this guy was trying to spam me with Deathstroke, and he didn't like the fact that I kicked his ass. So apparently he calls a friend. Now he's got a friend in there. Um, this guy's name was like XX Ray something, whatever it is. And apparently his friend had like an XX. It was all XX something something XX, you know, whatever it is. So his friend comes in, his friend is actually, was actually a good player. He wasn't cheap, he didn't spam anything, you know, he kicked my butt. Fair enough, fair play to you, good game. I sent the guy a message, I'm like, good game, man, you got me. And then I get a message from the guy, fuck you, asshole, this is how, uh, you don't mess with my friends, or whatever it is. And then the other guy sends me a message, yeah, you know, my boy is kicking your ass. So now it's almost like a war, it's my friend and me against this guy and his friend, and my friend comes up and destroys his friend's ass, like, rips him a new one, Aquaman. So I said, out of just being stupid, I said, I was like, yeah, I was like, I guess you like my friend uh, here kicking your friend's ass with Aquaman. Oh, it's friggin' on, you know what it is. See how it goes, back and forth, you know, blah, blah, blah. So then the, the, the kid, I guess, gets annoyed enough. He goes, yeah, get out of my lobby or whatever it is. And I'm like, dude, I was like, I created this lobby. You came into this, it was my friend and I. I was like, so I don't think we're going to leave. I was like, we're quite comfortable here. He's like, oh, he's like, you suck, you and your friends suck, whatever it is. I was like, yeah, but we're beating you basically 10 to 2. Uh, I was like, if you're counting, I was like, so you really can't, you know, unless you spam, you can't beat us. And even the spamming wasn't working all that well with these guys. So they wind up leaving. We're like, all right, cool. Friends and I, another group of people come in and they were really cool. You know, we were having fun. We were talking to each other. It was great. All of a sudden, the jackass comes back, right? Comes back in and starts up with everybody. Um, I get a message, you know, you're, you're a complete scumbag. You really should leave this, you know, whatever it is. You don't belong in this game. You don't know how to play it, you know, whatever it is. Me, personally, I'm, I'll admit, I'm not really good with combos. I don't have the, the coordination anymore like I used to. I really can't pull them off half the time. And online, it's kind of hard because of the lag. Um, but you get used to it. Um, but anyway, this jackass, you know, keeps sending messages. So I was like, you know what? I'm done. I don't want to be bothered with this asshole anymore. Uh, so I block his communications and I block his, you know, I mute him so I don't have to hear him. You know, all that stuff. The very next day, I get up and I go to take a look. I play Injustice. I turn it on it. I had 75 messages from different people, all with the same, like, XX name, XX, whatever it was. Didn't even really pay attention. Every single one, oh, you messed with my friend, you're a scumbag, you messed with my friend, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, nonstop. Like, all it was, you're an asshole, you're an asshole, you're a scumbag, you're a spammer, you're a cheap bastard. You learn to play the game, you don't mess with my friend, you don't mess with, mess with the X-Clan, you don't do... 
ridiculous. And I'm like, holy, literally 75 messages. Just, you know, I'm like deleting, deleting. I was like, this is ridiculous. Um, before I got down to like the last two or three messages, I was like, you know, whatever. I'm on the internet, I'm looking through stuff, and I get, I see this thing that they claim that some guy, I don't know if it was Germany or the United States, this guy, um, apparently lost in a video game, tracked the guy that beat him down to his house, and actually killed him over a video game. Really, people? This is what the world, it's a, it's a fucking video game. Calm down. Relax. So I'm like, wow, okay, whatever. Literally three minutes in, I get a phone call from Microsoft. I'm like, oh... Okay, uh, because I remember a while ago I had to call Microsoft like a dozen times to fix certain things, so I guess they kept my number. Um, I get a phone call and an email stating that I'm being investigated uh, to, to getting ready to being banned from Xbox Live. And I'm talking to this lady, I said, why am I, I, well, I was like, what is going on? And she goes, and then she says the guy's name, and I'm like, I was like, this is the asshole. And he's like, uh, yeah, him, him and, you know, whatever friends are claiming that you threatened him and you know all these all these things that I you know that I didn't do and my friend was you know knew I didn't do it so I'm like with him uh, you know saying that I threatened him I, I you know I called him names and I threatened him and, and his friends and, and all these like horrible things that she was repeating like verbatim like what this guy said and I'm sitting there I'm like what the hell right and uh, I said I have all these messages this is why you got to be careful with what you say um, I have all these messages from him and his friends. I'm telling this lady, I was like, this is all these things. I was like, this is what happened. And, uh, she's like, okay, you know, um, we're going to look into it. We're going to check your account, you know, all these things. And I'm looking, she goes, can you go on your Xbox and you tell me what, you know, the names are. And I'm on there and I remember I deleted, I was like, I deleted, you know, pretty much everything. I was like, except for two messages I didn't read. So she goes, would you mind, uh, reading them? I'm like, yeah, no problem. So we go into the one from the first guy, and I said to the lady, I was like, I blocked communication with this guy, I did everything. I was like, how did I still get a message? She's like, ah, you really shouldn't have been able to, but, you know. Message from him. Oh, I'm going to find out where you live, you scumbag, and kill you and your family. You can bet on that. Then I get a message from his friend. Uh, you're a complete dick, tool, learn how to play the game, you scumbag, rat bastard. My friend and I are going to find you, and we're going to uh, take care of you. So... The lady was like kind of shocked. She's like, are you kidding me? And now the funny thing is, well, not funny, but uh, she's like, what do you want to do? I was like, well, you're telling me that I'm being investigated. This guy said anything. I was like, and I didn't. So she checks all my stuff, every one of my messages. Nothing that I ever say to this guy that said anything about going after his family or threatening him or his friends, whatever it is. All my messages were kind of like sarcastic. Like, I'm glad you like my spam. You know, I'll give you fries with that next time or I'll give you rice. You know, nothing was ever... You know, I, and I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't say anything, you know, evil like that because it's just not me. So this guy thought he was going to get me banned by going to Xbox and, you know, telling them I did all this crap, yet I didn't do any of it. So this lady turns around and says, do you want to press charges? You know, she goes, because we have to, illegally, we have to call uh, the police and put this down as a threat. I said, yeah, I'd like to press charges. So I... <laughs> I told them, I was like, every one of the names, they looked it up, like I said, and every one of these people apparently are going to get completely banned and brought up on uh, criminal charges. So, let this be a lesson to, in general. If you lose, and I know people lose and you get angry, I know how it is because I've had frustrating matches where it's ridiculous, don't turn around and threaten people's family. Don't turn around and threaten anybody. You know, like I said, kill them with kindness. Like, you know, somebody says you're a spammer, say, oh, glad you, glad you liked it, you know, whatever it is. Which it's, um... I guess a long story, but uh, it's funny because I was actually looking on YouTube, and they actually have, like, I've seen 60 or 70 videos already just discussing death stroke spamming, like how people, you know, and how to get around it. That's how bad it is in this game, that people actually made videos of people spamming the hell out of people with death stroke. 60-something plus. That's, that's just a taste of how bad it really is. But like I said, man, it's a game. Calm down, relax. You know, if you lose, take a breath. I mean, when I lose and it was like a good match, I'll send a person a message saying, you know, it was a good game, man, it was very close, or a good game, I liked how you did this, or I liked how you did that. That's how I am. That's that's my, my thing. If it was cheap and you beat me, I won't send a message, you know, whatever, but chances are they'll send you a message just to be a dick. But I never really give any, like, I don't get a rise. You know, people get a rise out of me. I'm just like, whatever, dude, have a nice day. Um, I'm sure I'll fight you again and kick your ass next time. But uh, like I said, let the lesson be told. Never threaten anybody because you're going to get 
it's going to come back. And uh, it's not worth it. It's, it's a game. It's supposed to be fun. And people like this ruin it. But, you know, my one friend was like, oh, are you going to stop playing? I'm like, no, why should I stop playing? Because some jackass thinks he's, you know, cool. And he couldn't beat me. So his way of beating me was trying to get me banned off of Xbox and thrown in jail. And don't lie, people. Don't lie. Because it will come back. Because that lady knew everything. She had it all. In the th even though she had me read the stupid thing, even though I knew she had it. They had all the stuff that you do. Everything you send or get, they have, so be warned. But anyway, uh, so yeah, uh, fun times. Fun times indeed. And yes, I will still be playing Injustice. Oh, almost forgot. Happy birthday to King Joe. I know it was yesterday, but, you know, I didn't make a video yesterday, so. <laughs> hope you had fun. Hope you got lots of comics. And um, I actually might go play some Injustice right now. <laughs> so it's, uh, thanks, you know, if you stuck around through that whole story. It's kind of me venting a little bit. But, uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And, uh, it's not the size you make it that matters. It's what you have in it. And I will be back with another video soon. Very soon. Later.